Can healers complete the war within delves? Let's find out. Today I'm doing something a little bit different, healing in a war within delves. I wanted to see how hard and fun delves would be as a healer. Is Bran's damage going to be enough? I'm only doing tier 8 because that's where the highest level rewards are and what most players will be interested in. Above that is just a challenge. Uh, I've picked a Discipline Priest with Oracle Hero Talents because I'm more or less familiar with the buttons uh, and off we go. So, first platform, I start slow, pull things bit by bit. Uh, things do not live too long and my main focus is staying alive. Bran is not taking any damage, so the only focus is healing myself. Now, I have done plenty of delves as a ranged DPS. I can say there are two sources of damage you need to watch out for. Melee hits and the ranged casts. Everything else is kind of projected and can be easily dodged and so the start of a delve looks promising. Uh, there's a Nerubian Lord patrolling the area, I take it down, no problem, and move on. Now, I have to pause here for a second and confess. I've used one cheat ability that priests have. You might have spotted a little helper that had on the first platform if you paid close attention. Priest players know exactly what I'm about to say. The ability that I use is called Dominate Mind. It's a tannin in priest's general tree that allows to control a mob. A uh, high in level for 30 seconds. And you can do crazy things with it in a delve. Uh, on a bridge in front of me are two mobs, a tiny skittering menace and a Nerubian Darkaster. Take a guess which one I choose to control. As Dominant Mind only lasts 30 seconds, it's a bit annoying to keep recasting it, but the damage mob does is insane and it's totally worth it. Uh, here's the damage from the packs we just cleared. A whooping 67% has come from the Nerubian Darkaster. Not sure how much damage Bran is doing, but this is more than I can ever achieve playing a Disc Priest. Uh, at this point I realize what my game plan is. Dominate the mob and use it to tank stuff and do damage. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. I'm not a good healer. I'm not even a healer. I dabble with healing here and there, but I only just created Disc Priest on beta to see how Delves would feel as a healer spec. A real healer most definitely will have a better experience than me. All I'm trying to do in this video is find out whether healers can have fun time in the delves. Here's another example of me not being a good healer. I let my, I let my dominated mob die and wipe in the process. What, once the dark caster hits the ground, the swarmer and the threadmancer start smacking me hard. Of course, I panic and barely heal myself or do anything. I come back, uh, dominate Threadmancer. Of course, it gets smashed in the middle of a pack, so I have to do this one on my own. Uh, some things I've noticed while doing this run. The more abilities I cast on the mobs, the more damage Brun does. It's like he focuses more when I'm doing DPS as well. So what you, so what you don't want to do is stuck trying to heal yourself non-stop as it slows down the overall DPS. Uh, at least that's what it felt like to me doing this run. I'm also unsure how realistic it is that Bran being a DPS does not take any damage whatsoever. I don't expect him to tank or anything like that, but he could take some damage and let me heal him. Uh, maybe that's something for Blizzard to work on. Anyway, uh, I grab another Threadmancer before the boss, and there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> Unfortunately, me being the last healer you'd want in the group, I let my loyal pet die yet again. There's one critical part of this boss fight. Uh, the boss itself himself does moderate amount of melee damage, however, every 20 seconds or so, an ad spawns and starts channeling a power beam onto the boss. You need to interrupt that beam ASAP, otherwise the boss melee attacks are just gonna destroy you. I still attempt the boss, focusing on healing and doing mechanics, uh, but the game decides to screw me over and the beam empowering the boss doesn't latch onto me and I end up dying. Uh, I come back, 
grab some random mob on my way back. Of course, it instantly dies again. But out of nowhere, a new hero rises. Ran's dinosaur ends up tanking the boss for a big chunk of a fight, letting me focus on the boss mechanics. I successfully interrupt the beams, uh, dodge everything, I need to dodge, and boss just dies. Before I give my final thoughts, I want to show a damage breakdown of the boss. Um, so the boss had 38 million. I only did 10 million of that. And the fight lasted one and a half minute, right? Which means the majority of the damage, uh, that's what, 28 million, was done by Bran. Now, this is decent enough. As a healer, uh, you kind of focus on your, you know, your, your side tasks, you know, Unfortunately, I didn't really have much to heal, right? If you hadn't been in the real party. But uh, having having little mechanics to focus on and doing some damage for one and a half minute, this is a pretty decent experience, right? This is what Delph's going to be as a, as a solo healer player. And I don't think people can complain about that. I'm not sure about other healer experiences, right? I've only tested one spec. But all in all, this does look like the Delphs are going in the right direction. And of course, this is my experience of one Delph in the war within beta uh, as a non-healer player. Uh, so yeah, let me know guys down in the comments what you think. Have you played Delphs as a healer? Uh, or do you want me to try something else? Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Uh, see you next time.